Hello there gamers, Gondor here and welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot. Last time, we made our way through the Jaws of Darkness, which took us through some more catacomb temple kind of looking levels. But now, we've passed all that and now we're going to head to the castle machinery. We are so close to finishing this game, ladies and gentlemen. I almost can't believe it. Oh, this level, yeah. Right, this level, um, okay, as you can probably see, there's a wee gem float thing there, but of course we don't have the gem. But the exit is, is right there, and that's a good way to troll us, because there is literally no way to actually get over there from that side. Unless, of course, if you know someone who can actually get over to that exit by jumping straight across, then they are absolutely awesome. If not, then, well, it don't really matter. And besides, I would want to play through this level properly anyway. Since, after all, skipping the whole entire level like that is not the way a Let's Player should do things. Unless, of course, if you're speedrunning stuff, in which case, by all means. But this isn't a speedrun, this is a normal playthrough of Crash Bandicoot. So there will be no skips in this game. <clears throat> Unless, of course, it, um, I could probably do them as a bonus episode or something and show you the ones I know about, but unfortunately, I don't know of any bonus skips in Crash Bandicoot. But what I do know is that we do have a checkpoint here, so that will stop us from um, restarting all the way back again. Oh yeah, these platforms here, you've, you've got to be careful with these ones because, as you can see, they're, they literally go right up to the... Uh, to the hot pipes. So you're gonna have to be careful that you don't get yourself burned, so you better jump off of them quickly. Oh, and jump off that one quickly as well. But luckily we have ourselves the double Aku Aku mask. So we will be safe for a little while. Now we've got some more of these steam chimneys. But nothing to worry about if you know how to avoid them. There's another trampoline platform here. Lots and lots of fun. And we get ourselves some more of these corrugated layer boxes. So I'm just going to continuously jump onto them so I can give myself some, well, by the looks of things, just one extra life. Uh, I don't think there's any way you can actually get up there. I don't think you can. Nope, you can. Maybe you could, a Crash Bandicoot could have his double jump ability in this one. Now, there's nothing up that way, and watch out for the spring platform here because it's going to send you straight up into the boiling hot pipes. And you don't want that. Ooh, lots and lots of one for foot. I would gladly take these. Since they're going to take me over the 50 anyway. So that might help me get an extra life sometime in the future, maybe. But it will help me get a checkpoint. Okay, got some more cameras with spikes on them. Oh, well, there's some more lives. Would I be able to... In fact, yeah, let's try and grab them. Always remember to hold down your cross button when you're jumping on these kind of boxes uh, because that way it will allow you to get yourself a little bit of extra height whenever you jump on something. Same goes with uh, the enemies too. Oh, thank you very much. Going up. Right, I think we're actually almost at the end here. So all we've got to do is just keep going this way and we will be golden, I think. As long as I can avoid all these boiling hot pipes and steam chimneys, we'll be a-okay. And oink. Yep, there we go, there is the exit. And we didn't even lose a life as well, so that is awesome. Hey, do you know where the- Oh, look at that! Well, there we go, ladies and, gen and gentlemen. It looks like I will be able to show you me getting a gem after all. And we get a super password. Now, I know fine well that that is not the super password needed to 
um, comp- well, to have everything un- unlocked for you, because that super password starts off with four triangles. But you can write that down if you want, if you would like yourself one of your own unique super passwords. Okay, now we go for the next annoying boss for me, Nitrous Braille. Now, when I first played Crash Bandicoot, I had absolutely no idea how to fight this guy. Now, don't stand too close to him, otherwise he's got to put his arms up in the air, like he just don't care. See? Or that'll happen. But what you're supposed to do is, I think, jump or spin onto the green blobs that come out of the green um, vials. Avoid the purple ones because they'll explode. I don't know why, but for some reason, um, this fight reminds me of the fight with Clumbo and Banjo 2. You know, when he uses his potions to attack. And then he'll drink his purple potion to turn into a big hulking monster. So, how do you beat him this time? Simple. You just jump on when he's in a bit of and jump on his head. Easy peasy. Squeeze the lemons crash. Or easy peasy lemon squeezy as they always say. Okay, the lab. We're only one level and then the boss away from finishing this game. Okay, the lab. A lot of people will remember this level. To get through, you have to activate these exclamation mark boxes to open the doors and avoid running into the electrical sparks. Right, so we're going to have to take our time with this level. Now some of these have two exclamation mark boxes. Reason being is that one of them will activate the door and the other will activate the floor. So you've really got to be careful. And of course there's gaps and there's yellow blobs out to stop us as well. And of course we can get some um, TNT boxes here as well. So there's quite a lot of things out here to stop us. But luckily we have ourselves the three ton of tokens, so I've already said it before, but you know what that means. It means we will have ourselves a food checkpoint along the way. Hmm, there might be something else up there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. <clears throat> Unfortunately, no lies waiting for us at the end. But there is a 64% complete waiting for us. There's a super password again. I don't know if that's the same one that we saw previously, but if it's not, you can write it down. If it is, <clears throat> then, well, you don't have to. Or if you want, you can just internet up the various Crash Bandicoot 1 passwords. And of course, it wouldn't be a lab without some creepy scientists. These ones don't chuck um, potions at us, instead they're all electrified, so you don't want to touch them when they are electrified. Okay, now we have more sparks. So again, we've got to just time this right. There we go, easy. Oh, now this one's got <coughs> explosive potions. Gonna jump on these TNT uh, crates, then I can just jump over here for safety. Whoa, wait a minute. I'll wait till that floor retracts again. Okay, and go. Oops, that was stupid. I ran backwards because that scientist was coming towards me. 
I need to remember, scientists have legs, they can move. Okay. Now we will just wait. And... Go. Perfect. And then quickly jump back before I follow suit into the, into the pit. Oh, damn it. Well, at least we know now that the, the yellow blobs are deadly. Well, they would have been deadly since they're probably part of Dr. Embryo's creations. Right, so we just got tennis right. Wait. Damn it. Because I need to keep an eye on the scientists as well. And yeah, I'm gonna have to blow up these TNT crates because the switch is hiding underneath that. And if I spin into the TNT crates, well, we all know what happens. I'll get blown up. Oh hell yes, okay. Uh, blood curdling screams right there. Okay, right, I'll be safe here for a bit. Okay, good, it's giving me some lives. Good, these will really help. Go, don't. Oh, whoa, that was lucky. So, yeah, always keep an eye out for little gaps at the side. Oh, there's the exit. Right, so as long as I don't mess this up, I'll be okay. And there we go. Oh, yeah. Phew. Okay, the second last level, the Great Hall. This is probably one of the most difficult levels. How is it difficult? Well, watch this. Yeah, that was very difficult, wasn't it? But you may have noticed that that level had had a gem in it. That's because that I already picked up that gem previously. Now, that level has... Yeah, the Great Hall has another way to finish it, but to do it you have to collect all of the gems in the game. So unfortunately, as you already know, I will not be 100% in this game so I won't be able to show you that, but there may be other means I may be able to show you in a bonus episode if I feel like it, but for now, we've delayed it long enough, let's go fight the final boss of the game, Dr. Neocortex. We will be fighting him on his um, blimp. So whatever you do, don't keep running forward, otherwise you're gonna fall off. Now, to beat Cortex, all you've got to do is avoid his shots. The purple ones will, um, yeah, the purple ones will go straight towards you and they will go off screen. The blue ones, he will shoot at the side and they will come in from the side to attack you. The green ones are the ones that you want to spin. that one but it doesn't matter you can take as long as you want okay just two more hits for cortex and that's it done okay Oop, now we start to rapid fire so go ahead make sure that we avoid all those shots and I don't know how the hell we managed to say his lava fire but there we go. Exactly, Crash. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have finished Crash Bandicoot. And so, it's always the usual stuff, in it? The hero defeats the villain and gets the girl at the end. And then they use some kind of vehicle to sail off into the sunset. See? told you. So there we go. That is it. Crash Bandicoot is done.
But you know what? I'm feeling kind of generous. I think that there's some bonus episodes in the frame for this game. Why is that? Well, there are still two secret levels to do, and there is also the secret ending that you can get in the Great Hall level. So, why not? I might as well show them off. Although, bearing in mind that those levels are very, very difficult, and if you are playing this game properly without using any super passwords, um, you will have to do them in order to get 100% of the game. Because I think those, um, excuse me, um, hold on, yeah, there we go. I'm pretty sure those uh, secret levels also have um, gems and that to grab in them as well. So yeah, if you are playing this legitimately without any super passwords then you will have to do those levels as well. But in any case, we shall look at the credits which I think are now almost over. And yes they are. Okay ladies and gentlemen, well, I think that's going to be it today. So, thank you very much for watching, but I'm not going to close this off yet because we still have a bonus episode to go. So, I'll see you guys for that. So, I'll see you then.